Hi, I'm Vicky from Vicky Mines Creations. I'm here to just talk for a couple of minutes about fusible fleece and alternatives for making bags. I love making bags, got lots of bag tutorials. So what do I use to add a little bit of shape to fabric? Because obviously cotton fabric just, just hangs there, it flows, it doesn't have any sort of bag structure to it, so to speak. So my go-to is fusible fleece. This Oh, I see I buy it on in bulk it's quite flexible bendy you're not going to think it's going to add much shape to a bag but it really does it, it makes a big difference and that's a very cheap option to start with I tend to add a heavier weight iron on interfacing again I buy this on the roll um, to bag linings I find that really helpful especially if I'm going to use a magnetic snap or I need something to add a bit of strength to to my lining so that whatever closing mechanism I have it's not going to you know, create holes in the in the lining so I use that an awful lot as you can tell because I've got it on the roll I do spend out on any soft and stable now if you've not seen this product before um, yeah I use every bit because it's expensive it's it's foam, it's bendy, it, it's definitely more structured. When I unfold it, you can see the creases where it was folded up. Not that that matters or affects your back in any way, shape or form, but it shows uh, to you, you, the viewer, a little bit more what the product is like. So, as I say, expensive, but I use it for my treat bags or the bags I'm going to use every day because it's um, has a lot of... A lot of structure and shape and and keeps its softness as well so the last one I want to share with you is this which is Decaville light which is new to me I've not used it before at all um, feels a bit like cardboard it's iron-on um, all the products are iron-on apart from any soft and stable which I do use spray craft adhesive for to be honest so that's all well and good showing you those but I think what would be really helpful is to make up some standard zip bags so I've cut out a prep three um, with the Decaville light the fusible fleece and the iron interfacing so they all look quite different and I'm going to sew those up and I'm going to come back and show you um, the difference in how the bag ends up as a result of the different product on the inside adding a bit of form and shape. So I've made my three bags, I'm going to share with you the results. So the first one, Decaville Light, I've not used this before. It is it does feel quite firm, almost papery. That seems a quite an odd word to use for describing a sort of linen cotton bag. And it's and it definitely holds its shape, look you can see that there. Put crink in it and it stays. So that's the first one. The next one is fusible fleece. Now this is this is squashy soft it does does hold its shape if it's flat but it is a it's a soft shape definitely and then last up the uh, interfacing now this bag really doesn't particularly hold its shape it's um it's got shape, but it's it's got the least form to it out of the three, as I expected, to be honest. It's got form, but limited form. It's definitely a lot stronger than without any interfacing, but it's, yeah. So, as I anticipated, the three bags are quite different in their shape and um, form as a result of the different interfacings products on the inside of them. 
it really is worth buying a few, having a play. You don't need to make big bags, just make something small like I've done here, just to see the difference in how the fabric reacts with the different backing to it to experiment. Have fun. I love bag making. I love seeing how fabrics can be transformed into a three-dimensional shape and um, a very useful item that I use every day. Do check out my other videos or the blog because I do share lots and lots of bag making tips and free patterns. Thanks for watching.